What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome to another podcast of Living Life with Assurance. My name is Fedor and on my left, this wonderful, smart and beautiful lady. Your name is... Victoria. Today we have another podcast. Let's get comfortable, shall okay. we? Okay. Is it comfortable so we can see each other, look at each other in the, in the eye to eye and not be side eye like this? I actually should have brought another pillow so I can be a little more calm. There's a pillow right there. You want to go it grab is? It? Yeah, I'm going to grab it. So today, guys, we are talking about if we were going to move back to America. You're really going to say it without me. Yep. Okay, I got the pillow. Yep. So today we are what talking about what? If we are planning to move back to America, why if we are and why not if we're not moving to America? Okay. Uh, because this question has been asked of us with like maybe hundreds of people hundreds. in the comments. Like in... I was like, we have to actually address this because people keep yeah. DMing me. <laughs> yeah, and also, not even only online, also my family has been asking us. Oh Everybody my who God. we tell that we plan to stay here for a long time yeah. are asking us different questions. So yes. I think that we need to address that. I think so too. You should start, honey. I should start. So the question, uh, the answer is <laughs> to the question, if we are going to move back to America. Right now, for those of you who don't know, we live in Russia in the city of Novosibirsk. We've been here since June and it's been it's almost half a year. Oh, yeah. We've been living here. So uh, the answer is simple. We don't. <laughs> we don't plan to move back to America anytime soon. Ever, no, I'm playing. <laughs> ever? No, uh, I think no, that- No, um, never say never, right. ever. <laughs> First of all that, but secondly, um, do you want to just give our reasoning separately? Yeah, let's give our reasons separately and then we can come in together because we both have different reasons and also we have the same reasons. So mm -hmm. I think it's important for you guys to hear our uh, perspective individually. Okay. Who starts? Me? You? Yeah, go ahead, honey. Okay. I'm putting you in the hot seat first. I want to <laughs> see what you got to say. And in fact, we haven't talked about this. We don't have anything prepared. We don't have any yeah. pointers prepared. Just on the camera, on the mic, raw. Mm -hmm. Um, so, we don't plan to move back to America to live in America for a long term. For me, the reasoning is a multiple of a multiple layers of it. Uh, but I would say the main thing is that in the states, it's hard for me to form meaningful relationships with people, and it seems like the relationships that we do form are surface level. And to me, I need that deep connection with a person, even here, even when I talk to different people, I always try to ask deep questions, something that's very personal, so I can get to know the person very well. But in the States, it might be just me, it might be the States as a whole, maybe it might be the people that I've met before. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's for everyone uh, that is out there in the States, but it was hard for me to become very close with someone. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's, Reason number one, and I, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Maybe I'll add some later. Okay. But I want to give you the. Uh, yeah. Opportunity and to talk guys, about. we're not doing this in any order. Like, of course, we've talked about our reasonings in the past. Like, well, like when we first moved here, yeah, it we, hasn't been we'll reasoned at all. It. We'll yeah. talk about it, but it's not like we have one, two, three, four, five right, lists. Right, right, right. We're gonna so, mention right now on the video. So. Yeah. So it's definitely kind of out of order, but. Excuse me, I should have not down those Doritos <laughs> before this video. But um, to say, come on your point right. really quick. I so agree because even my um, massage therapist in Russia. Random, my, okay. <laughs> random, but my second day, she asked me so many deep questions and I just feel like it was so nice for someone right. to ask me like deep questions about my personal right. life. And I was like, wow, I actually don't get this in the States. Like I I, mm -hmm. I never saw Fedor's point until recently, mm -hmm. until I see the way Russians deal with me and I deal with them. And it's always someone asking me a deep question or trying to get me, get to know me better at the core. I feel like Americans smile and stuff and you know, not to, <laughs> I'm not bashing on Americans because right. I am one and I love Americans. My best friends are Americans, but it is a surface level. I feel like it's maybe a level of trust and mm -hmm. secondly, it takes from people that I know years for them to open up. Yeah. Like I even have some American friends I've known them for years and they haven't opened up. So right. I agree with that point. But for me, that wasn't really 
a factor. Yeah. That's more of a, I would say, a cultural difference because I've dealt with Americans because I am one mm -hmm. and you're Russian, so it's definitely a cultural difference. Mm -hmm. But for me, I would say I just looked at the bigger picture of my life and our life that we share. Mm -hmm. And I, the main thing for me, well, one of the main things is the quality of living. I just looked at the big picture like, what? Why? Quality of living, break that down. Okay, okay. So first of all, I just want to say how expensive it is. I couldn't even imagine being a family with kids right, right now, mm -hmm. paying so much, mm -hmm. so much for groceries in, the States, right? in America. Okay, okay, okay. I've said this before. I think our old rent was $2,500. In, in LA, it was... I would say in bills, we have to pay about 3,000 and some change if we include the car payment, which was 400. So yes, yeah. I, I would say with 450. all the- 450. <laughs> 450, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so with everything that we have to, each month we have to pay 3,000. Yeah, so for me, like how expensive it, it is, um, and it's not like we couldn't afford it. We lived in the top safest neighbor neighborhood. Right. We had great jobs. Everything was peachy clean as somebody looked at our lives from the outside right. looking in. But I just feel like I was missing something. I want to look back on our life and say, wow, we took risk. And mm -hmm. for me being in at home in a comfortable place for me, I just wasn't growing. And I want, right. I want to take risk. And I have my second point, but I don't know if you want to so, comment um, on that. Your point, I wanted to just um have you elaborate on what you're saying so yeah the quality of life are you saying that we're not moving back to america because the quality of life there is is worse or what what do you mean no i wouldn't say worse i just think so when i look at our life we were working what two jobs mm -hmm. in two jobs each right. in america and compared to living overseas whether russia um okay. uk anywhere. so you're saying that for us to even live in, in the states we have to work for yeah, it, we just and have, have to, less time to enjoy ourselves. We yes, and I was so tired of working, 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 and then not having time to spend with right. each other. When I'm like, forget this, I don't want to look back on our life, and it's just work. Right. I know so many people that have done that, and they're mm -hmm. miserable. Yeah, that's I, true. I want to think about life like, oh, we actually did leave, whether it was a good decision or mm -hmm. not, and live life to the fullest. Yeah. So, that's yeah that's definitely um that's a good factor too yeah and i don't think it's worse i think you can take the good out of everything but for yeah. our situation i just think i'm more of a, um, a broad person like right so <laughs> here right now you, uh, we we're paying way less we're paying like 500 a month way less for for all the bills so compare the 3000 to 500 yeah and so you're saying that you get to enjoy or actualize yourself better here yes. because you don't have to hustle just to pay rent right and what is that saying working to live instead of living to work yes that, that okay. that's literally my whole point right so right. that is my whole point right there because it's so sad that because of the quality of living is so high a you lot of people a lot. yes a lot of people can't enjoy their lives and i just mm -hmm. i noticed that right away with our situation because right. we both have degrees we both got a Bo second degree excuse me both have master degrees <laughs> both have master degrees so it's not like we were freaking struggling right but mm, i was like there's yeah, better things there's better things in life i agree that we could be doing so. i agree uh, it's great that uh we live in russia right now that we don't have to pay so much in in bills and even the groceries are very cheap mm -hmm. for example i went to get some chicken for us today just yeah. stopped at a store got two big pieces of chicken uh, about two pounds yeah for one and then uh some chicken sausage which was also there like what seven six dollars for all of that six i didn't even ask you and much. yeah six dollars it was very cheap and the chicken is authentic it's organic mm -hmm. they deliver from the factory right away it's fresh mm -hmm. when i got there they didn't even have the chicken at the uh, uh front of the of the of the store i said so you don't have the chicken today, right? <laughs> they said, no, the, the the car just came in. So we just got our new shipment, uh, shipment yeah. of chicken. So it's fresh right there. So, and then the bills are much less and we, we, we get to enjoy ourselves better. And here... So you agree? I 100% agree. Yeah, yeah. Here, we 
this is just some some numbers for all of you guys just listening to this. For example, I'm taking right now. We, me and my friend are, take, are taking uh, Thai boxing classes, which is pretty you know intense, three times a week for an hour, so twelve sessions a month. I pay a hundred for for a whole month. It's just me and my friend and the coach, like a private lesson. I'm sure that if I was in the states, there'll be about fifty per session. And yeah, it was. I mean, you can use my um my activities for example i don't right. know how much What, so i was pole dancing and right. my i i think i was paying at the time 35 or 40 an hour yeah and oh, such a great coach but right. you add that up it two yeah. weeks worth i was going monday wednesday friday we could we afforded it right at we, the time we could afford it yeah we could afford it and we weren't struggling but i'm just like why why are we paying this and then you went to to get the private sessions here and that was like what seven dollars eight dollars an hour <laughs> yeah yeah y'all saw that video of me uh yeah. doing pull with the russians they're on another level yeah. and they're top like <laughs> right yeah and uh and that's this is not just a point about oh it's less money so we can spend more on ourselves it's no, not about it's that not. we get to enjoy ourselves more we get to do something like this record record these videos right now without feeling the need to go out there and work and grind just to meet the rent payment right and me with my own business i get to focus on it 24 7 without a worry that's another point without yeah. anything to worry about and great thing great thing about online businesses is that i can do it from anywhere so why would i choose to still be at home most of my time right it doesn't matter where your home is it can be on the east coast west coast russia it can be anywhere in the world but i'm still gonna make the same amount of money so why not right. choose a, a cheaper place that is also has other benefits to it right if if i can yeah it's so funny that you brought this up because i was also thinking that in your last year of grad school when we were trying to figure out uh where we're gonna go we were gonna go and I, of course, I was like, LA, that's where I'm from. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where else? Because we were, we went to school in Virginia. We lived there. Right. We, I have family in Philadelphia. We spent a lot of time there. Right. We knew those places we didn't want to stay right. there. And they're lovely, but we just, you know. LA seemed to and be then the. LA was the, the easiest place. option, right? So then we went to LA. And then you're like, he's, Fedora said to me, babe, I work online. I could be anywhere in the right. world. It's about you and what you want. So I, you know, had to think about, okay, mm -hmm. what do I want? You're putting the ball on my court. Right. Cause Fedor, you know, he can, you were coping in LA. It's not like he was all depressed at home. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't homesick or nothing. I was yeah. just, you know, that was the real reality then. And I wasn't, yeah. I just kind of accepted it. You know, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm having fun. I can enjoy time by myself. Yes. I miss my friends sometimes, but, but I go home, you know, every half a year. So yeah. Yeah. So then um anyway the next point i, I, I guess I, I can mention the next point yeah yeah you mentioned the next point i don't even know where i was going with that but oh, well, it's all right <laughs> okay, yeah i forgot maybe it's gonna come back to you and for anyone asking about oh fedora why don't you stay in america this is the dream come true you went to the states you met an american girl you can get a citizen citizenship and become american a lot of people who say <laughs> that they haven't been abroad they haven't experienced what i have experienced for myself exactly i think that Grass has always been on the other side. And in Russia, it's been the kind of the, not stereotype, but more of a thought. If you go to America and you stay there, you made it. Yeah. Because it, you're going to a top company, you're working in an office, you're working for Google. You're working for Google. What? That's crazy. Not, not even in Russia. In any country, it's right. like the thing. like The American dream. The American dream. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but sometimes it's just... It just wasn't our dream. Like right. it could be other people's dreams. It's great. Right. You go there, start a life for yourself. Yeah. It's a great country, but yes. it just wasn't for yeah. right now. For right now. But right. anyway, continue right. your point. And going to America is the dream when it comes to the career. But also in Russia right now, Moscow starts to emerge and to be the same level. We have companies like Yandex, like other companies as well. So it's kind of becoming an, an equal playing field with Russian companies emerging slowly but surely. So it's not as much of a, the dream to go to America anymore. And I think that uh, for the career, for career wise, for me, I had a different plan. If I were to stay in the States and have a career, yes, I probably could have stayed, you know, because if I yeah. move back to Russia, I lose the job. 
that is a high paying job or something. Yeah. But I chose a different route for myself to be an entrepreneur and to have a business, which I'm loving to this day. I can stay home and work. And I mean, even though I work a lot, I love every single second of it. Mm -hmm. I'm never miserable about work. If I want to take off work, I can. I don't have to kiss anybody's butt for <laughs> for a raise or nothing, right? Yeah. I just simply chose a different path. Mm -hmm. And people who are asking... People get scared of you choosing a different path because, sorry to cut in, but yeah, people yeah. will keep putting their insecurities on you. Mm -hmm. And that's what was happening. And because... You know, we only had one narrative. You go to America, that's it. That's that's the dream. Yeah. You don't hear about, oh, America wasn't right for me. Because if you said that, you'd probably be insane for saying that. Yeah. Because <laughs> the, the, the standard of living is much higher in the States. I agree with all of that. It's just simply not everybody's... It's not everybody's dream. And it's fine right. that it wasn't our dream. And mm -hmm. that's why I just, I honestly... I don't know what the future holds, but exactly. right at this moment, right now, talking to you, right. having this podcast, I do not see us going back and living right. there for the next couple of years. And that's not saying that we're going to live in Russia forever because there's so many other beautiful countries that yeah. we haven't seen at all. I agree. So Even though I love it here and I'll probably, for the foreseeable future, I want to stay here. Yeah, of course. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see how you feel. Then we're going to decide yeah. both of us together. And I'm having such a great time. But I'm just right. saying, like, you, I... When I first came to Russia with you, or by myself, I don't even remember if I flew by myself or not. You flew by yourself, and of course I was here. Yeah, I flew by myself to you, so scared. First time I came around, I was like, oh, hell no, these people don't smile. I don't, I don't see me right. even here. It was just such a smack in the face, such right. like a cultural difference. I never, never thought I would be here. That's mm -hmm. why I just keep saying, you never know what the future may hold, because right. what, five and a half years ago, I never thought this would yeah. happen. And I feel like I'm the happiest I've ever been. Same with mm -hmm. Fedor. And I agree. it's also crazy that, I always talk about this a little bit, that even when I, sorry, did I go ahead, you off? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if your poem was, was done. <laughs> Whatever. Was we're, it done? We're married. I'm used to this right now. So. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Go ahead. You know I like to talk. I mean, no, you like to talk. Make your point. Don't forget <laughs> it again. Okay, 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 okay. When I went to London, I studied abroad for the first time. I had the time of my life. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, wow, if I could stay here, I would. I thought to myself that every day, if I could live here, this is a dream. A mm -hmm. dream for me to be in a different country and to just have the time yeah. of my life but uh, you know i i came back to the states so right. forever i thought about that dream to myself like right. maybe i could live in another country no like what would how would i make friends like right. all these little insecurities like well what are you gonna do like what if fedora doesn't want to go with you like and <laughs> <laughs> no like seriously and just do it like yeah and when you first came here, it was different because when you came here, it was your first time, first of all. Yeah. And the second time was same because it was still kind of a foreign foreign country to you and a foreign culture. I think the difference between you coming to Russia mm -hmm. for a few months knowing that you're going to go back yeah. is different than you coming here and you don't know if you're going to go back. Because right. right now you are um, encouraged and almost forced to get accustomed to the culture mm -hmm. and do things on your own, learn the language go and talk to people and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But before then, you're like, all right, I can just tolerate this difference because I'm going to go back to my to my comfort zone. To my comfort zone. I can just kind of, you know, chill it out. Right. And it's going to be a, a quick trip. But right now, you, it's more of a permanent thing. So you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, if I'm going to be scared to talk to people, I'm going to be right. scared for the rest of my life if I'm going to be here for the rest of my life. So it's different because you now have to kind of embrace the culture and embrace the people and embrace the differences and try to thrive in it. And right. that's different from just, you know, coming here as a tourist. And that's why whenever we are going to travel to different uh, countries and things like that, Thailand, Spain, Greece, whatever, <laughs> yeah. we're not going to be immersed in a culture to figure out how to live there if, if we were going to move. And that's a different level of understanding the country. Right. And for you right now, you are understanding the, the uh, Russia more and you are you understanding the great parts of it that you yeah. might have not experienced then. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Like, I 100% yeah. agree because I think also another reason why um, I don't see us going back to America mm -hmm. is language. I'm just, I think we're both the type of people we like 
being out of our comfort zone we mm -hmm. like learning about different cultures yeah. and yes of course you have that in the states but i thrive off of going to spain and mm -hmm. trying to oh let me learn a little bit of sentences real quick right. let me learn how to order some food like right. i thrive off of that i love that and i'm realizing that like it, it just makes us happy to just right. be our own bosses travel anywhere yeah. and not to not have to answer to anyone because yeah whew, i i love home i love where i'm from i will always wreck the west side right. to the day i die but i never once while i was here thought hmm maybe i should go back home right. and that was really a wake-up call for me because mm -hmm. i was just like wait if i'm not thinking about it i'm not thinking about it i'm not missing it of course y'all i miss my family and my friends sometimes and we miss chipotle sometimes we miss chipotle and some other restaurants <laughs> cheesecake factory, yeah, cheesecake factory. <laughs> sometimes we think dang if we could just have a burrito at yeah. cheesecake factory yeah. but other than those small things that we can just get on a plane for in the future right. we're just falling yeah. on no budget i'm fine we yes. are fine as long as we are happy and growing together mm -hmm. That's that's enough yeah. for me, and um, yeah, I'm happy for that. And the, what would you add? Yeah. The final thing for me is that right now we live a worryless life, almost. You can say that again. I I agree with that. Right, and when we were in the states, it was a lot of worry, it was... different things, it different was things. It was, you know. Go go down the list just real quick. One, two, three, four. Okay, worries. Yes, worries. Paying the rent. Oh. <laughs> Pulling out to the gas station and feeling endangered. Oh! <laughs> Going to the grocery store and seeing a lot of homeless people on the way. And then if you walk, also me, me feel a little endangered. <laughs> Not, okay, for me, I would say when we go to, let's say like a, a chiropractor or something, I'll, I'll be afraid that they're going to overcharge me or something. Oh! <laughs> Happened to us multiple times. Yep. For example, a great example. Victoria With our car. Her, oh. Not a car. Victoria's doing her Invisalign here in Russia. And it's two oh, yeah. times less expensive than it is in the States. You totally had to pay, what, 5K for your for your Invisalign, which was an off-brand Invisalign. Off-brand. 5K. Yeah, they got me. They that, got me. That didn't fix your teeth. Kind of did, but then it broke off and it, and it kind of went all back. Kind of halfway back. Halfway back. And now that we are here with the clinic here, dentistry here, they charge us 2000 for Invisalign, the actual brand of Invisalign that's top notch. Victoria knows her program, like case. Well, the what is it called? Hmm? What is this, the Invisalign? What is it called? The thing? What is it? Invisalign. I don't understand. Each pair, I guess. You would know how your teeth will move with each pair. You have a program. Oh yeah. You get I, to check in with the with the person. I knew that too. With, right. With um. Each, oh okay. I didn't I, know that. Yeah, I knew that each two in America, but it's but just five thousand versus two thousand. Yeah, they got me. They got me. They were. They really got me because. The insurance shouldn't cover it in America because I was over the age limit. Right. After 18, it doesn't cover anymore. Yeah. So, yeah, we had to come out of pocket for that $5,000 yeah. in just multiple expenses because everybody, uh, not everyone, a lot of people are struggling, struggling in America. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to upcharge you. Yeah. It has not happened to us here yeah. because people, well, yeah. why do you think it hasn't happened to us here? Let me ask you that. Overcharging us? Yeah, overcharging. I haven't had one person overcharge me for anything I don't, here. I cannot think about and it. And I really. stand out. So, right. Like, they haven't tried to get me $5 more on a burger, yeah. nothing. <laughs> and I'm used to that. I'm so used to that. I'm paranoid that I remember when Somebody's we were going to play you and someone's uh, going to play us. Advantage of you. you know how many times I got my car fixed from getting breakdown in college? You remember paying 3000 oh paying another 5000 paying another 600 I mean, yeah. sorry, not 5000 paying 500, another 500 300. 600 yeah, yeah. And then the issue never been fixed. So Ever. it's just. <laughs> a lot of those things that, that are just adding up and up and up and up and up even though you might think oh it's a small thing like come on just like the yeah. car fixing but it's time and time and time and time and time again with different things yeah and why would i want to go back to that worry what is it wor worried or worried yeah. life if i can have a worry less life mm -hmm. and even though you are here yes you have a language uh, barrier yes you stand out yes people look at you you know, stare at you sometimes. Yes, people come up to you when you don't want that unwanted attention. And but take pictures, but... Take pictures and all that, but it's... All of that is worth the benefits that we get. And that's just for us. Everyone's experience is different, yeah. but this is our experience. And to add to the worry, 
less also the media. I didn't, we didn't watch the news in America. We don't like politics. Yeah. We don't like politics anywhere. It's not like right. it's better in America, Russia, yeah. uh, UK. Any, politics, any politics is trash. Is... Any politics, we're like, all right, don't talk to me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, I don't got to watch that. I, even stuff on my phone that pops up or like my friends send me, I don't want to see that. I don't yeah. want you to send me no shootings. I don't want to see yeah, none of all that. The, all the social things, all the political things. Oh, all like, the... can, can we talk about cancel culture real quick? Cancel culture? Yeah, we can talk about that. Uh, cancel culture being... Actually, let's do that in another podcast. Okay, well, let's get it right <laughs> here and talk about cancel culture in the next podcast because we have something to talk about and I think that, you know, just, just to let it out, kind of, um, I think that our point of view, we talked about that in, in just... To each other and we decided to make a podcast out of it so let's cut it right here and then talk about it yeah so it won't go all over the place but we yeah. hope you kind of got a better idea of why we're just enjoying our right. life here and why we're not going to go back to america yeah we love both countries once again because people keep sending us hate mail not hate mail but like um what is it mean comments mean like, comments i guess like you're a traitor you're this you're that but yeah it's insane and thank god it doesn't affect us no more like it used to when we first started <laughs> You can just kind of like, kind of like laugh, laugh it yeah, off. Yeah, we, we, if you guys send us some mean stuff, we just laugh it off yeah. because you're... It's not going to get to us. It's not going to get to us <laughs> and you keep watching more. Like, just unsubscribe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you keep watching, we're going to keep making content. All right, guys. See you in the next podcast. <laughs> we're going to talk about cancer culture and what we think about it. And put in the comments down below what your experience is. If you're living in another country, what country you're from. We want to know more about you guys. Yep. So thank you guys for watching. And maybe we inspire you to move out to move out your country yes. and explore other options. And see if you like other places more than your current one. Yep. We'll see, see you, you next time. Paka, paka. Paka, paka.